Well, I think for the five-star movement, there is no way back. I think after yesterday's debate in Parliament, I think there is very uh, little chance for a return uh, of an alliance with the, with, the, with, with the League. So I think the only solution, uh, uh, alternative to elections here, is an agreement between uh, the Democratic Party and the five-star movement. But it's a very challenging endeavor. I mean, uh, uh, the senator just mentioned, but uh, I mean, yesterday the secretary of the party, Zingaretti, said very clearly that the bar is very high. Uh, they want to see strong discontinuity, they, he said. So I think that's very challenging. Also on the Five Star Movement, it's very difficult because they would shift um, policies quite, quite substantially. So my, my sense is that uh, it would be very difficult to engineer this kind of alternative government. So base, baseline is really early elections. You still think that the early yeah. elections is going to happen. But do you not think that it is in the incentives of the other parties not to allow that to happen because essentially it gives Salvini an opportunity to capitalize on his popularity? So in their view, are they not weighing up the relative lesser evils? Absolutely, absolutely. That's why these two parties which have been uh, you know, fighting hard uh, over the past uh, few years, I would say, now they are trying to get uh, some kind of agreement. I mean, everybody wants to avoid a central-right government led by Salvini, which would be basically a, a, a right government. Uh, but again, uh, I think uh, the endeavor would be very challenging. And my baseline scenario is really early elections after maybe uh, uh, Mattarella will give a try on uh, some alternative solutions. And happening this side of the year? I think the, uh, it, will, it will actually happen uh, probably over the weekend. I think if uh, Mattarella will not uh, you know, find a solution over the weekend, uh, maybe he will only have a few days uh, to call elections uh, and so that uh, basically Italy goes to election in October. Hi, I'm Giovanna Bersecchi and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.